Hi again, Annika Sorenstam from the behind view. Now you don't see this camera view very often. This is obviously taken on a golf course. We've looked at Annika's swing previously from the more conventional views, but I'm using this angle today to uh, explain the proper use of the right arm in the golf swing. There's a lot of misunderstanding as to what the right arm is supposed to do. I see a lot of new students come to me and they they like to tuck that right arm in very tight to the body and get the elbow in very close to the side of the chest. Obviously that can be a problem. Um, you often will also see the right elbow and arm go really too far back behind the body in the golf swing and causing a number of downswing faults. One namely being an early release of the uh, angle between the left arm and the shaft. So let's let's take a look here at Annika. So she's using a three wood or perhaps a five wood. Ball's probably on a, just on a, on a short tee there. Ball position nicely forward. Spine tilt, we always talk about that with the head set behind the ball. Now the purpose of this video is for you to understand what the right arm does in a backswing. Now what I like about this golf swing there's a lot of things in fact but one of the things is when her shaft of the club is parallel to the ground the right arm is only slightly bent what that helps to do is keep the club more in front of the body in the backswing doesn't pull the club under plane and get behind so let's run this through a little further into the backswing so more towards the top of her swing of the shaft is just just short there of parallel when she gets to the top, uh, she's probably about parallel. So there's the top of her backswing right there. Now, take a look at the right arm. Obviously the right arm is bent, it has to be bent. But the elbow is still in front of her body. There's the elbow right there. Right, now what I often see a lot of people doing incorrectly is getting this elbow tucked in very close to the body down here and I even said some people get it way way back here behind the body so what Annika's done here really well is she's maintained good width through here so from the middle of her chest if you were to measure that from the middle of her chest out to her right hand she's still got good distance here we can notice that the right wrist is nicely bent which is a normal thing to see in a, in a good backswing. Position of the right arm there is what we would call nice and wide. The hands are away from the head, not pulled in close to the head, not tucked in close to the body. Remember where she was going back with the uh, right arm and the shaft in the backswing. Those red line positions indicate that. She gets the top of the swing. Now as she starts into the downswing we'll see something quite different. Lower body is leading forward. The weight's moving to the left. Look where the right arm is now. The right arm is now in quite close to the body and the club is still up here. So she's certainly got a good amount of lag in this golf swing between the left arm and the shaft. Still got a good angle, pretty much as much as she had at the top of her swing. Now, if you look at this closely, when her shaft is parallel to the ground, we now don't see her arms. Her arms are already back in front of her body. Previously, when she was parallel, of course, we could see both of her arms. So I would describe this downswing or into the golf ball, delivery of the club to the golf ball, as being quite narrow, certainly compared to the backswing, which was quite wide. As we come down, the downswing is more narrow. And that's very important. Good players are doing that. You take a look at Annika's right wrist, it's noticeably bent as it was the top of the backswing right wrist is still bent even here you can just see that right hand before it goes past her leg right wrist is bent this is what this is what you need to do if you want to strike the golf ball well so her her right arm somewhere is in here and the shaft is still up there so she leads into the golf ball even with this three wood or perhaps five wood the left arm even though we don't see it, but the left arm, which is somewhere here, is leading the shaft into the golf ball. Now what I see a lot of people do, there's two common faults. 
people will tend to go back wide, as Annika has here, but they'll also come down wide, which means they'll lose this angle out too early. So the club would be out in this area. As they approach the ball too wide, they'll hit the ground behind the ball, or they'll hit the, hit the ball and make no divot. And then the other type of golf swing I see too often is the golfer who gets very narrow at the top. The right elbow in very close to the body, the hands in very close to the head. It's very cramped for room. There's no there's no extension. There's no width in the backswing. And then those types of swings also typically come with an early release or a throw out, so a wide approach to the golf ball. None of those things are going to work very well. So keep in mind what the right arm's role is in the backswing. The right arm is slightly bent, but only slightly. And creating a nice wide position in the takeaway at the top of the swing good distance out through here and as we start coming down with the lower body leading to the left and the upper body pulling the club down we want to deliver our club into the ball in a more narrow position than it was in the backswing there you go Annika Sorensen don't see professional golfers video from this angle very often hope it's helped you understand the role of the right arm and how we create width in the backswing and then we want to narrow that into the into the downswing all right there you go thank you